guys. So it's a little windy. I'm moving a little closer here. So uh, today's Wild Wednesday is going to be a little bit different, uh, mainly because it's a Saturday right now. But you guys are going to see this on Wednesday. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be what's called herping. So if you happen to go into the field of biology and you want to study snakes and lizards and other reptiles, uh, it's called herpetology. So uh, uh, herpers, as they're called, are people who go around and they look for snakes or reptiles and try to find them, take some pretty pictures. And so hopefully uh, this time, since our last video, we haven't found any snakes really we'll find some this time and so uh i'm gonna go over a couple things i'm gonna tell you a little bit more about herping here in a little bit but one of the biggest things you're going to need is a vest to be on the side of the road you do have to have a reflective vest because usually this is done at night which means we might have some fun with lighting later but uh we want to make sure the vehicles can see us the other thing you must have is you must have a hunting license with a reptile and amphibian stamp and so if you do not have one of those and you are herping illegally it is a form of hunting in a way and so you have to make sure that you do everything legal here and we will not be on the road which is behind us uh, you cannot cruise the road legally and so what we're going to do is we're going to find rock cuts, which are nice outcrops that uh, at some point they blew up hills and stuff to make roads through there. And all those cracks and crevices, there's usually a lot of things on there. So we'll probably find more creepy crawlies and snakes tonight, hopefully. And uh, I think we'll have a nice night ahead of us. So uh, we're going to go ahead and hit the road and get to our spot and we'll see you when we do find something. Alrighty, guys, we're going to get to it. Alrighty guys, so I gotta be careful here because what we have is a black-tailed rattlesnake. You can see him right there. I'll put some light on him. Actually, it looks better without the light. So, he is uh, not very happy. It's a little bit, you can kind of see that black tail right there. So, he's being very generous right now and rattling. That's why I really like these rattlesnakes because uh, they kind of let you know when they don't want to be messed with. And so, while this species is usually not as angry, this one, we kind of spooked him. He spooked us, to be fair. But, has really pretty patterns on there. I'm not going to get too close. Don't have any snake gear with me at the moment. We're just kind of stopping on the side of the road. But very pretty little rattlesnake. So I'm going to go ahead and let him be on his way. I'm getting just a little too close for comfort. So I'm going to go ahead and give him space. But uh, this is uh, Crotalus uh, ornatus. Uh, a really nice name. It used to be Molossus, but uh, they've changed the scientific name for them. Uh, they found other different species. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, this is a nice sign. We haven't really even got started yet, and we found something. So, finally, a snake. Uh, we'll go ahead and leave him be, and see you guys at the next critter. Hey guys, so this one's not a living critter, so uh, I know a lot of people are interested in this. This is what is called a tarantula hawk. So Mr. Dillard just found this one on the side of the road here, but uh, you can see those beautiful orange wings and it has a nice kind of iridescent blue or green shine. And then if you can see the little curly antenna right here, uh, these are kind of really the distinguishing characteristic for this family, the pompillids. And they have these nice little curly cues. These guys walk around and uh, they basically will fly around and they look for uh, tarantulas. They will sting them, drag them to a burrow, and they lay a single egg in there. And so that tarantula is going to be slowly eaten from the inside uh, over a couple month period. And then the new baby wasp emerge and the cycle repeats. Alrighty, this has some ants all over it, so I'm going to go ahead and set it down, but uh, I know a lot of people always like these tarantula hawks. So, see you guys at the next spot. Alrighty guys, so if you can see this katydid right here, this is actually a very cool species. So this is what is called a red-eyed devil. And so red-eyed devils, you can see they have those nice red eyes. They're the largest katydids here in the U.S. And these ones are really cool because they're carnivorous, which means they're out here hunting other bugs. Most of them just munch on leaves and stuff, but that is, that's a pretty young red-eyed devil right there. Uh, these guys, when, they, when they're full grown, they'll be about three times this size. And they have these tiny little wings that they don't use to fly but instead what they do is they throw them up to try to scare you off and they are very aggressive for a bug alrighty let's see what else we can find out here guys 
Hey guys, so here's another species of millipede. Uh, millipede. Uh, I believe this is Narcissus americanus, but it could also be an undescribed species out here. You'll notice they have kind of a nice green sheen and they have those beautiful pink legs. And so you almost only ever see these guys uh, around these rock cuts. And so he's nibbling on a dead leaf right now. Uh, once again, the millipedes, they're detritivores, so they just kind of eat whatever they find. And so, let's see. See what he does here. He might get scared and roll up into a ball, but he's got some really nice coppery colors to him. Alrighty, let's see what we can find else around here. Alrighty, guys. So if you can see right here, there's a tiny little tarantula. Let me see if I can get closer to his burrow. Just an itty bitty little guy, so it's hard to tell which species this is. This could be uh, the Texas Black Spot Armada, it could be the Texas Brown Hensi, or it could be uh, Fondapelma Moellendorfi, which is a new species. So let's see how close I can get these guys. Oh, yeah, a little sensitive to vibrations, so my loud voice probably scared them away. All right, let's see if we can find some bigger ones here today. Alrighty guys, so this little guy right here is a death feigning beetle. Uh, so these are darkling beetles, Tenebrionidae. Uh, these little guys are very popular in the pet trade. Alrighty, so he's just going to kind of crawl along. They're mostly scavengers as well. We saw a nice little pilot doo doo over there, so he's probably going to nibble on that. Alright, let's see what else we see crawling around. Alrighty guys, so what we have here is a uh, Latrodectus mactans, Western Black Widow. They really like these rock cuts. They kind of get above the grass. They do not like tall grass, so keep your keep your lawn mowing if you don't uh, uh, if you don't like these guys. It's a nice big female, so uh, maybe if I hold this light here, something will fly into it. But we're gonna go ahead and carry on. I'm gonna try to find something cooler. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, so right here we have a very large uh, uh, Carolina wolf spider. Ooh, very fast. And so these guys are actually the largest wolf spiders here in the United States. Uh, this looks like a big old female right here. Alright, she's pretty jumpy, so uh, uh, looks like she's leaving. So we're going to go ahead and mosey on as well. Alright, I got a little scorpion. He's going to slither away pretty quick. Uh, looks like a little, little centroides perhaps. Yep. A little windy out here, so he's probably going to vamoose pretty quick. Here we have our little uh, scorpion that is now fluorescing under the black light that we brought with us. And so it has that really nice glow to it. Almost looks like it's radioactive. And so once again, all true scorpions do this. Alrighty, here's a really nice uh, spingid or hawk moth. Sometimes these are called hummingbird moths. This one appears to be holding on in the wind right here. Could be releasing some pheromones actually. Looks like it was a female moth. Anywho, we're going to go ahead and move on. Uh, let's see if I do a size reference here for my... Let's see if I can finagle this. So it's a, it's a good sized moth right there. There's my hand. I'm going to crawl on here. Ooh, it's a big girl. Has a nice little red glowing eyes. Alrighty. Go home, little moth. Hey guys, we got a little baby skink right here. Uh, not exactly sure of the species. Probably a Great Plains skink or something along those lines. Has a nice little blue tail. Uh, happened to find him under a rock. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and let him be on his merry way. You can watch him kind of slither away. Ooh, they're so fast. Bye. Hey there guys, so uh, we have something here you might be interested in. So this little guy right here, you can see him on the ground. This is uh, Cordylus atrox. This is the Western Diamondback. 
This is probably the uh, most common rattlesnake you'll see all around San Angelo. Uh, we're a little further away from San Angelo, but these guys are pretty widespread. So you can see those nice patterns on here. It's pretty chilly out, so he's slow, being cold, being nice, not rattling at me. So we're going to let him slink off, but a very beautiful snake. And he's not going out of his way to kill me, so uh, probably shouldn't go out of your way to kill them either. All righty, so we're going to just look at him, slither away. Very beautiful. Got a nice little rattle on him. Whoop. He did not like me touching the rattle. He did not like that, Mr. Randix. Let's see if we can get him maybe doing a little show. Taking that nice striking pattern right there. But he's actually, for a Western Diamondback, oh, now he's rattling. I poked him too many times. He's uh, pretty nice. He's not striking or jumping. But uh, yeah, very, very cute little guy. Alrighty, guys. We'll see if we can find any other things on our way home. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, so not quite a rattlesnake, but this is a cool little bug right here. And so I'm going to put some light on them so we can see them a little bit better. So this is a, uh, is a Cerambicid, which is a longhorn beetle. But these ones are cool because they only eat cactus. So they're a little bit different than the other longhorns we have here. So I'm going to light a little, little bit of light here. Oops, I spooked her. Let's see, this is a girl. Girls tend to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to grab her and we can see if I can get a closer look oh yeah so they have really strong mandibles here that's what helps them tear through that leathery cactus hide oh cool so there's not very many species of these uh, I think we only have about a dozen throughout the US but this is definitely a nice pretty one uh, I'm gonna go and let her go she's pretty disgruntled with me right now and I can't imagine why I just picked her up in the middle of nowhere so we're gonna set her down actually you know what let's go ahead and put her on a cactus right here it's probably where she was coming from there you go yeah, go munch on that. All righty, guys, we'll see you at the next one. Ah, she's hey, guys, so uh, right here we have a, a mature male tarantula wandering around. Uh, and once again, I probably couldn't tell you the species. This one looks like maybe it's a Hensai or Armada. Oh, he doesn't like my light too much. He's going to hide. I'm going to see if I can pick him up real quick. He seems pretty. Woo! He always going to kick his butt hairs at me. So I'm going to try to show you his hooks, but I think he might be a little skittish. Yeah, he, he doesn't want to be messed with. So I'm not going to get him too much and kicking all of his nice butt hairs. Anyway, uh, so the boys like this, they just basically wander around until they find a girl. So maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find a big girl tarantula out here. All righty, let's see what we can find. Hey guys, so uh, the wind was a little bad on this one, so I'm actually recording the audio a little bit after the fact. But what this is, is a Rio Grande Gold Tarantula. So this is probably one of the rarest tarantulas in Texas, and uh, uh, it was just out crawling on a rock cut, which is somewhere I really haven't seen them before, so that is definitely a cool find. Hey there guys, so it's about uh, five in the morning right now. Uh, we just got back safe and sound. Uh, not as many snakes as we would have hoped, but we did see quite a few cool critters. And so hopefully, hear my voice cracking, I was singing in the car the entire drive <laughs> back. Uh, hopefully we can do another video like this soon because uh, I think we found a lot more this time than we normally do. Alrighty guys, we'll see you for the next video. Bye bye.